Now, good evening, everyone. We continue to follow uh, the breaking story in Lamoille County, where a manhunt is continuing from the ground and uh, from the air after a shooting in Morrisville last night. Law enforcement agencies are looking for this man, 24 year old Henry Lavelle. Schools and some businesses in the area closed today as the search continues for him. NBC5 Sid Bule has been in uh, Lamoille County all day and she joins us now live with another update. Sid? Stu, Alice, police originally had planned a press conference at 5.30, but that's been pushed back a bit. They say there's a lot of moving parts in this case. In fact, we actually saw police gearing up and going up the street here. We'd have a crew following them as well so we can bring you more updates. Now, they say they've found all guns that Henry Lavelle might have had access to, but they're still treating him as potentially armed and dangerous after he used a shotgun during last night's shooting in Morrisville. Authorities say video from security cameras show Lavelle ran into the VFW carrying that shotgun after the incident. A patron was able to wrestle the gun away before Lavelle ran from the building. We checked in with the VFW, but they wouldn't talk with us on camera. Today, multiple agencies, including U.S. Customs and Border Patrol, helping with the search, involving a helicopter, a military-style SWAT truck, and canines. Police first responded to an apartment last night at the intersection of Pleasant Street and Upper Main Street after receiving a call about a domestic disturbance. The responding officer from the Morristown Police Department recognized Lavelle from previous run-ins. They exchanged gunfire before Lavelle ran from the scene. During that exchange, the Morristown officer was hurt, but he was treated and released at Copley Hospital. Authorities aren't aware of any other injuries, and we spoke with neighbors and businesses around town today, some of whom did not want to be on camera. But those who did tell us that this is shocking to the community. Oh, yes. More so safe, and it's up and coming, and a lot of young, wonderful people living here now, and so... Yeah, so it is rather a shock. Uh, Morrisville's a really good area. We don't really have crime like this. Um, again, it just shows what our society is turning into, you know, that a small town like Morrisville, a small, tight-knit community can have a problem like this. Now, again, police say Lavelle could be armed and dangerous, so if you see him, they're asking that you do not approach him and instead call 911. Now, we'll bring you more updates as we learn more about the presser and the scene as it's going on right here in Morrisville. Live in Morrisville, Sid Bule, NBC5 News.